Welcome to Octoboo! I'm James Diggs Graves, and I have a bone to pick with you. <laughs> uh, I have something very spooky to show you, but be warned, when you see it, you might die of fright. It's the number of games I have in my GOG library. Okay, so if you don't know, GOG is kind of like Steam, except it doesn't suck. Like Steam, it's a service that sells games old and new for you to download and play. And also like Steam, they have an absurd number of sales that make games so cheap, it's hard to resist going on a shopping spree and buying everything. Just everything. It doesn't matter that I hadn't heard of Gene Forge before. It doesn't matter that I might never play it. It was $4 for the entire series. I had to buy it. So I'm delving into my virtual pile of games to pull out something in the spirit of the season. Emphasis on spirit. <laughs> I'm so funny. Released in 2003, Ghostmaster would be the final game to come out of the short-lived Sick Puppy Studio. The publisher, Empire Interactive, felt the game hadn't performed well enough, and the development team got the axe as a result. Playing the role of Ghostmaster, you are tasked with commanding various apparitions to haunt the living and make them poop their pants out of fear. As you progress through the levels, you will build up your team of terrors by unlocking new abilities for your scary squad and finding new fiendish friends to join you. For this playthrough, we've got 15 levels to complete and almost 50 ghosts to collect. And while I'm not too familiar with the game, I'll do my best to show off all the different ghosts and powers and explain how everything works to the best of my knowledge. Hopefully, I'll do this game justice. Alright, you little ghoulie grabbers and party monsters. It's time for... Games, please, games. Anybody there? What is your name, spirit? Thank <laughs> you. 